So guys, we are back with Midnight Suns Part 2. Hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. We just saw the inclusion of Venom and Spider-Man. So I'm very, very excited for this next episode. And uh, let's begin. Is she going to be a bit... Congratulations. Unhappy with us? New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the ah. jaws of your enemy. I'm Courageously sorry. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And oh. all it cost was a village. <laughs> ah, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again. Putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. Sorry, who's your who's who's your mother? I'm so confused. Have I missed we'll something? Talk more later. I thought these two got on. Get some rest. I guess not. I want to change my look a little bit, if I'm allowed. Alright, I'm willing to talk to Tony Stark, indeed. So our friendships for uh, Doctor Strange and Blade have all gone up as well, which is great news. Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. I guess he did push quite hard, didn't he? <laughs> he just charged at Venom. As you do. That as you do. Fiasco. And Wasn't it the best, would have been it? far worse had Spider-Man not arrived when he did. No kidding. Caretaker would have been pissed if Venom had actually eaten a hunter. Yes, one disaster averted. But we still need to figure out how to get Wanda and the Sanctum back. Hmm. Yeah, there's no doubt Spider-Man definitely helped hunter. us out. For sure. Look, scathed. I do. No demons to report here, boss. Can we have a chat? Can we talk? Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chain mail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. What are you hinting at? Get to a 10 out of 10, I'm guessing. And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? <laughs> Sky's the Plus limit one. for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. Yeah, it does look a bit spooky. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the saw a present. early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Yes. I was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. What? Blood? What, what, what quill? But I do not have a quill. Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply jest. It is an ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flower. Oh, okay, so it's not blood. Of course it was. Obviously. Clearly. With just a touch of Manphibian blood for power. Haha, -ha, another zinger. And we'll just leave it at that. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. 
May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me walking to my room. So, what is the present? And we have a new hero available. It is Iron Man himself. Obviously used him a bit already, but still cool to have him available. Hoping Spider-Man could be added to that roster as well, soon. Hi, I'm Tony Stark, but if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man. Okay. Oh, we've got actual stats here as well. Sweet. So, health, offense. Okay. Apparently, you should really try and focus on maybe a couple of heroes. It's obviously very tempting to work with all of the heroes, um, but focus is definitely beneficial. Indeed. Um, okay. Thank you for that. I was hoping for some armor, but sure. Explore your room. Okay. We'll see my closet. There's never enough room for my armor <gasps> in this thing. Yes. Please. Let me change this outfit, please, I beg. Do I, oh, I don't know. I don't know about these outfits. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't afford this one. Maybe this one? Athletic black. All right, sure. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I, I mean, he's, he's well built. He's a good looking man, no doubt. But um, yeah, it's quite tight. Very, very tight. What's this? My faded journal. Okay. Aunt wants me to prepare to, sorry, wants me to practice my letters. And here I am. But every time I dip this pen in ink, I just want more and more to go out beyond the yard into my secret spots. I left my dolls scattered about before the storm. This sounds a bit weird. I'm sure. My old journal. <laughs> this sounds very Maybe weird. It's time I start writing in it again. So this is our, these are collector's items. You gain special rewards for collecting these as well. What else we got? What a painting, look at that. We Exquisite. were all so happy then. So is that your mum? Maybe? Hmm. We were all so happy then. He definitely was. Go to sleep! And grasp me twice. Especially with the collar. <laughs> it's quite the look. It's it's quite the look. Oh. I blame the collar, that's why you can't sleep. Because I was saying from the 90s, that collar. They are everywhere. We must fall back. To where? The book. Is she reading from the book? Then we have Agatha? No. Hold the line. I can stop that her. Only I can stop her. Child. So Lilith might be. Oh my god, that's terrifying. That is terrifying. Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Oh I know, god. I, know. I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 oh, years. Oh, wow. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. 
But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I am sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. So are they hinting at potentially? Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later. Are you still but for here? Now, Stark has I'll requested your presence in the forge. I think he has another present for you. Yeah, are they hinting at potentially multiple sort of endings or conclusions or decisions I have to make? Can I pet Charlie? Let's find out. Good girl, Charlie. Yes. Ah, oh, little hearts. Oh, that's quite cute. That's very cute. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a definitely, I'm definitely a dog person, but this dog is um, kind of scary. There's no fur whatsoever. What realm did you come from, you weird dog? Good and day, this Hunter. is the sanctum. Next thing I know, the sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. Click him rips. <laughs> I don't get it. Strange could Who's this? magic his way in. Something about I'll the find out alien soon. things. I think that's one of the original Midnight Suns. I forgot now, his name though. Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. Oh. Uh, I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, Fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, yeah, speaking of. Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed yes. to offer minimal protection against the venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. <laughs> Perhaps. You should just try it on. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now we're talking. Still think I could have used a cloak. Now cloaks are dangerous. We know this. Cloaks are definitely hazardous. All right, Tony again. Stylish. Damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I still we did think good. Could have benefited from a cloak. You think everything could benefit from a cloak? Our cloaks are dangerous. We get stuck in turbines. Somehow and this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? I love it. I do. Um, why is there a demon in the forge? <laughs> Good question. Um, I appreciate the efforts. It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Okay. What's so special about the new suit? Please explain. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. 
And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. That is useful. I liked my old suit. You didn't like your old suit was terrible, mate. I'm sorry. Sounds impressive. So it is a marvel then? It is. Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Ooh, that's a bit offensive. You don't seem to like magic, I think that's fair to say. Um, so what's your story, Tony? You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head, and was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. <laughs> Makes it sound so easy. That's a lot to deal with, it is. Well, I guess it'll work to any end. You seem so. well adjusted enough, considering. Exactly. Which means there's hope for you yet. I find these apocalypse scenarios will save you tons of therapy. Um... You don't seem to like magic. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? It might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed. You mean change because of me and my mother? I think Lilith is his mum, which is kind of crazy. I cannot help but feel partially responsible. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't take it personally. We were detecting changes in both magic and science months before you woke up. But yeah, things have definitely hit high gear since then. This is a massive Thanks for threat. catching me up on things. I've said it already. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Calm down. Okay. Let's analyze this gamma coil. Oh, okay, it's not far. <laughs> Let's get it done. Uh, there we go. Analyze away. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye olde demon hunting school, so I'm just going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They're using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line. I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Welcome I to love Tony's it! Welcome to Demon Cave, I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? So, this food, we're going to be coming back here quite a lot in the future. A lot. Analyze the clue. Just, uh, give me a minute. Gonna be very important this place. Take your pick, Hunter. Ooh, so we get a new card? Yes. Okay, so I've got strike. So chain two, we've got that already. It's just all for play. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 36 health. I do own these already. Um, I guess I just select one. Um I do quite like life steel, it is pretty good. It's very useful. It's pretty OP actually. Let's go for that. Hunter, when you have a minute, come yes. meet me in the yard. Okay. Talk to Blade in the yard. I ain't gotta tell me twice. 
the blade calls for you, you go running. Hello, blade. What Welcome is it? Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? Yes, about you. <laughs> What's that mean? No, I'm good. None. Let's go. All right, then. None. Upgrade an ability. Okay. They got to ask me twice. Uh, if you can beat Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck with that. Back again. If a hero possesses two copies of an ability, they can be combined to create a new, more powerful version. Oh. I like the sound of that. So we own three of these. Sorry, two of these. No, three of these. So we can upgrade it. So it goes from 24 to 27 and it uses less heroism. Yes, upgrade it. Can I do it? Yes. Not bad, not bad. All right, then. All right, any more upgrades we can do? So a quick look. No, I think that's it. Okay, so there is benefits around. to upgrading abilities. Sorry, getting multiple cards are the same. Okay, got it. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm sure Carol. Did. Carol Danvers, but you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie, going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Sorry, what? Um, is there a way inside? Every lock has its key. True. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking, but then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. How persuasive are we talking about? Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them if need be. A uh, quantum what? You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. I feel very welcome, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm really wondering if there is romance options in the game. I'm very intrigued by that, I don't know. I had to think maybe there is. Ooh, what's this? Oh. All right, that was a good find. Just everyone knows- There's Nothing is certain these Ooh. days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The gamma signature is- Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say Gamma? Yes, get. Uh, hang on a second. Come on, Tony. You managed to stream the Super Bowl to a Kree battleship 50 light years out. This should be easy. <laughs> Did he? Oh, we waited all year for that game. And we know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Well, can't you just... I don't know. Work my magic again? See, that's the problem. This time Is that a I'm cake? working with actual magic and Maybe cheese, I don't know. Sucks. Right, can I help in any way? Ow. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei. Which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just sorry. Still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> or just kick it. We should be able to track this that new works. gamma signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chum. 
What exactly is a central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive encryption, net transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey, come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Uh, I didn't Find get any goosebumps. When you're ready. Is Carol officially a part of the team yet? Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology. I don't think and so. She, kicks it. she just kicked it. I can't believe she just kicked it. So this must be the mission table. The mirror table. I guess that is where we're going. Eventually, also, we'd have loads to select from. Lots of side stuff to do as well. Of course, we're still pretty early on. Another gamma coil. Don't mind if I do. It was just recently that the Hudson Yards Development Restoration Association purchased this entire block. I'll let you think about that one for a minute. I'll think about it. Don't you worry about that. Team, are we ready? That is quite the team. That is quite the team indeed. He's got his new suit as well. Let's go! Midi, midi, midi. Trench coat, sunglasses at night. Open sesame is. Thank you. Like I've done this before. Gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse, so we'll be patching Doctor Banner through from Avengers Tower. And I did not mean to cut cut you off, Miss Caretaker. I apologise. But needs must. We must get to the mission and get it done. Yep, that <laughs> gives it away. Abandoned off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Johan Fanoff. That hack. I heard he was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps a more accurate description. Calls himself Faustus now. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. <sighs> Gonna need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. Yeah, we can see Kill that. Them. Carol, that is quite the outfit, by the way. An explosive barrel. I've seen it. Got to use it. Team, are we ready? I hope we're ready. Defeat all of the enemies. Hopefully I, I get to start. I've considered Faustus a bit of a crackpot, but his fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Able to move and then potentially knock her. Or not. Into that barrel. I was going to try and knock into the barrel, but we don't even have a knockback ability yet. So. That was a rather stupid idea. Um, the whip. So, whip you into that barrel. Beautiful. You have earned this. Eat that. I love that ability. It's so good. And so Open satisfying. Very satisfying. Uh, do, 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 do. We can get a little redraw. On this one. Let's see what we've got available. 
One step ahead. Draw a card until you have three in your hand. I can't use that. So there's no point using that right now. Can we redraw again? Sure. Give me something good. One knockback. That will do nicely. Uh, don't know if this is going to reach or not. Yes, it does. Go for it. Boom! Celebration! Good job, and it's leveled up as well. Stronger already. Good. Can I throw that? No, oh, damn it. It's too far away. Well, screw you. Oh. Alright, this might work. Whee! Oh, nicely done. Learning so much every time we do combat in this game. Well, I believe we are good for this turn. Yep. Pretty happy with that. We're going for blade. It was weird that you can't really hide behind cover. You just you are just exposed. You just got to take the hits to a extent. All right, where do we begin? Tactic mode allows you to quickly assess the entire battlefield and condition of the enemies. I've never been one to buy into the science of How do we magic, do that? But the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. Ooh. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a resurrected demon hunter, right? I think he does. I've done six damage. Let's go for the old knockback again. Uh, what can we knock into? Whatever this is. I don't think it's going to do anything. Oh. Did the wall... Okay, the wall's gone. Fair enough. Uh, don't think the game knows what to... Oh, there we go. Don't think the game knows what to do there. <laughs> so what do we do? I am confused. Uh, go for a redraw, please. Um, and can we, with Blade... Uh, can't really hard to do it. Can't perform this action. Why not? Nope, can't do it. Well, that's very annoying. Nope. What else have we got? Uh, trying to assess the battlefield. Not necessarily trying to rush into combat right now. Hmm. Let's just make them bleed. Quick strike. Hope this is enough. For a death? Nope. Still going. Not the best turn there. the mother with that mouth? I think I would know, probably. <laughs> Our cards, okay. We're done. We've played enough cards. I don't know. Why do I even do a redraw there? I don't know. It's still a learning process. And I will learn. That's not supposed to hurt. Not slow me down. Not the best turn. Reinforcements. More reinforcements. Good. <laughs> It's not good. Possible. He somehow stabilized the rate of decay within the particles themselves. How else could he be achieving such a high yield? I don't know, Bruce. I'll be sure to ask him when we're done punching out the bad guys. There we go. Slit target. One more time. Eat this. Boom. KO. Completely knocked out. Uh, let's go for knee strike. Also gain block equal to the damage dealt, which would be very, very useful. Ooh. That's Lovely. one hell of a move. That is one hell of a move indeed. Uh, draw cards until you have three in your hand. I can't get that one because I don't have enough heroism. So I should maybe redraw. Come on, give me a good one. God damn. Can I, can I use this? I can use this. Oh! Slap it up as well. I'm still in my prime. Still in my prime indeed. Oh! All right, here we go. Apply two bleed. Do 40 damage. Got two of these. Let's go for this one. I'm slightly weaker, but it doesn't use as much heroism. 
So let's take. Uh, that would wipe you out. That would wipe you out as well. Let's go for this guy. Yo! Here comes Daddy. I love blades. They cannot possibly match your strength. He's so good. So I played all my car plays. I do have a move available, but that is pretty much it. Uh, yep, yeah, that is pretty much it indeed. All right, we'll leave it there. We're done. I try mortalis. Lucky shot. Very lucky. So we had the defense there. So we took five less damage. Due to that Perhaps ability. Perhaps device is worth further study. If you wouldn't mind, Carol, I'd prefer it if you oh. and your supernatural associates not. Beautiful. Smash it. Yes. Just, just smash it. Yep. It's on. Complete utter overkill. Uh, oh, that's this is gonna definitely gonna be a slight overkill. Can that? Oh, actually, that's not good, is it? No, let's not do that. Let's not do that at all. Um, life steal? Sure. <laughs> Give me your blood. I think they can arrest you for that. Blade is pretty blade. effective. That's all I'm gonna say. It wasn't the smoothest of combats. We're still learning so much. That was like our second now, combat ever. Quickly, so. let's go, go, go. Are we gonna quick escape for it? How dare you! Ah, the perfect opportunity to field uh -oh. test mother's device. Oh no. We may be a little bit too late here. Watch out! <laughs> that can't be good. Is this a positive or a negative? Get her! She just absorbed it! What, magic and gamma? Okay. Right, so I want to try and take all I've learned from the previous battles into this one. Really have a good go at it, if that makes sense. Um, let's see what happens. Hopefully it goes alright. Fingers crossed. What do we have? Got a knee strike. Uh, let's do one redraw, maybe? I don't know, actually. One sec. Um, let's do a quick attack on this absolute pleb. Do it. Get ready. Eat this. So we can do shield by eight. I think it's got 30. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, this is going to be satisfying. Oh. Yeah. That is one way of making your presence known. It is no more. She has no longer has protection. Ha 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 ha. Um, can I? Is there like a bit of terrain up here? I think there is. Um. See, I can't do anything else. It was a bit too far away. So we will end this turn. I think. Yes, I think we will. Let's do it. End the turn. We will not fail. But I'm pretty sure I can now grab the artifact. 12? I'm lucky if I do 12 damage. Seriously? That's a joke, Maybe you man. should try something new. Uh, I must have angered them. Please stop it. Please. Oh. Jesus. Clearly he was. So we're gonna try. More as well. <laughs> Starting to get a little bit mad. Preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Oh. Unknown to you. There is dark magic at work here. You must not let Hydra escape with it. 
So I have to try and finish them off, ideally. I've got a bit of a knockback here. Can we use this thing here? Can we can we cut it? Is that possible? Um, not that I can see. Hmm. Let's go to here quickly. I hope I don't shoot the barrel because that would suck. Can't do any more moves though. I don't know if we can interact with that. It seems like we can, but I can't seem to activate it. Apologies if I'm being stupid. All right, let's do a slash on this guy. Yeah. Should we also do a little knockback as well? Oops. Maybe you do not realize the trouble you are in, friend. Oh, you're in serious trouble. A lot of trouble indeed. And then a quick slash. Then we go for the. Uh... Oh, nice. Hail that! Are we having a card? another card? Oh, sweet. Um, how's the health looking? Blade could do some health. Let's go for a bit of health then. Behold the light. Let's try and keep our characters alive, please. That'd be lovely. All good. I think we are done for this turn. Yep. Okay, I'm sure you can interact with that floating block. What has happened there? <laughs> they must really want to piss me off. They must. Come on, everyone, stay alive. Eh. I swear, if any more reinforcements come, I am not going to be happy. This is a ridiculous amount of units. Like, absolutely clear, We ridiculous. won't be able to recreate Faustus' experiment or track potential future variants' gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample. This should hurt. <laughs> now that was a treat. That was incredible. Take this. <clears throat> Get out of here. Oh, she leveled up well, as well. That's exciting. That is exciting. Uh, da, 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 da. Should we go for a little redraw? Or we go for a little knockback? Uh, let's go for a knockback. I can't see what's going on. I can only knock back into that. Oh, yes. Do it. <laughs> Electrified? Yes. <laughs> That's a neat trick. It's a very neat trick. Okay. Very neat indeed. I believe that is all we can do for now. Yeah, I think we're done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can interact with this. It, it seems to highlight occasionally. But I can't seem to... Uh... No, we'll leave it. It's fine. I'll work it out later. It's fine. How do you get your stun removed? Ah, uh, these delays can be quite frustrating. Infuriating, even. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. Here it comes. Oh, did you see the movement? Blade, you are you rapid, my man. Forceful knockback into. Let me select it into the barrel, please. Boom! <laughs> We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. That felt pretty good. That felt like my smoothest battle yet. Good job, team. What is this thing? Bad guy crate, full of bad guy stuff. I know those symbols from the time of the first hunt. That cliff means barrier. That one almighty, something, something, gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. 
How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? I only got one star, though. I don't know how you get multiple stars yet. I have to look into that. And we've got more of this uh, currency, which we seem to be able to put into customization and stuff like that. So that's cool. Got a gamma coil and an artifact. Beautiful. Successful. Very, very happy with how that mission played out. Good times indeed. Nice job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my 10th run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The eternal spirits of vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say, all work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on, you should hang out. I should rest another time. That's pretty much me. I just avoid social events. <laughs> Bye. I'm good, thank you. And we are going to pause it there. Thank you guys for watching. How did Ooh. this work again? Nico sent us a message, apparently. Um, yeah, we ended there. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys want me to do a part three. Um, I'm really enjoying the game so far. I'm enjoying the challenge of the combat, learning the moves, trying to use the environments. It's been, it's good fun. Good fun indeed. And I'm liking the story. See you guys soon. And bye-byes.